Okay, in this video, we're going to go over how to find the in-center of a triangle using angle bisectors. Now, angle bisectors are lines that basically divide each angle of a triangle exactly in half. So if I were to like measure this angle, let's just say it was 60 degrees, I would create a 30 degree angle and just draw the line straight through. Same thing with this side go exactly down the middle, do a line that goes straight across. Same with this vertex, find the number of degrees, cut it exactly in half, and then draw a straight line. Basically, those three lines will intersect right at one spot, and that spot is called the in-center. Now, we can do this. That's, that's the concept of angle bisectors, finding an in-center. Now, we can do this by eyeballing it, right? or by measuring the angles and then just doing it that way, or we can do it mathematically, and that's what the purpose of this particular video is. So let's go through the steps to find the in center of a triangle mathematically, okay? Now, the, there, is an, there is actually a formula for this, and let me, let me just go over the formula for it. The formula is the x, let's just say it's approximately there, the x coordinate, for the x point will be equal for the ortho center, or for, excuse me, for the in center, I'll just go x sub i is equal to the x value here, which is negative 2, times the length of the opposite side. Okay? So I'll just say that is uh, a times the length of bc. Actually, give me one second here. I need to change my pen. So that is, again, it's the A value here, the X value here, times the length of the opposite side, so times BC, in this case, line segment BC, plus, we'll call this B, small b, the X value there, times the length of the opposite side, which is AC, plus the x value of the C point, we'll call that small c, times the distance here of line segment AB. All of that divided by the perimeter of the triangle itself, okay? So, let me just go ahead and draw that line, divided by the perimeter. That would be the x-coordinate, uh, the x-point uh, for the coordinate in the middle, right? And we do the same thing with the y. The y of the in-center, let me just make that a little bit more obvious, is going to be equal to the y-value here. <clears throat> so we'll go a sub y times, again, the opposite side, bc plus the b sub y times, in this case, ac, line segment, plus c, the c of the y value, the y value of c, I should say, times the opposite side, which is ab. And again, divided by the perimeter. Let me just do this, get a better line this way. Okay, by the perimeter. And that basically is the formula to find the in-center. Uh, we could do it really quickly for this. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. So again, the first thing I would do in terms of organizing my problem is I'm going to find the distances of each of the sides of this triangle, right? So I'm going to use the distance formula. to find each one of the sides of my triangle. So triangle, or excuse me, side AC is equal to, remember the distance formula is x1 plus x2 divide, x1 minus x2 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared, right? So I'm going to say uh, 6 minus a negative 2 quantity squared 
plus 4 minus 2. Quantity squared. That's going to give me 8 squared plus 2 squared. That's going to give me 64 plus 4 or the square root of 68. And the square root of 68 is actually approximately 8.2, and that's for side AC. So let's just go over here, and I'm going to put in 8.2 for that distance. Now, I already calculated the other three sides, and I'm just going to put them in here, or this video is going to get really long, okay? But you just basically follow the distance formula, all right, for AB and AC. And the distance that I found for AB is, let me just a quick look, 7.2. You can go ahead and do your own calculations and see if it matches up to mine. And then the distance for BC, I found to be 5.7. When I added up all three of these distances, I got 21. The perimeter is equal to 21.1 units, okay? And I'll just put units here. Okay, so now that I've got the perimeter, let me just go ahead and do the x value, and you can see how, the, how that works. So let's find the x, so that'll call, we'll call this point two, finding the x, of the in center. Again, we said that was equal to negative 2 times the opposite side, which in this case would be C, so 5.7, plus value of B, which was X sub B, which is 2, times the opposite side, which was AC, which was 8.2 plus the x value for c, which is 6, times the opposite side of, or in other words, just ab. Did I do that right? I think I did. And ab, I said, was 7.2. All divided by 21.1, which is the perimeter that I just figured out in the previous, what I'll call paragraph, okay? This is a mathematical paragraph. Divide by 21. Point one. I'm going to add all that up, and let me see, what do I get? That's a negative 11.4. That's a negative 16.4. That is a uh, positive 43.2, I believe. Yeah, yeah, 43.2 divided by 21. And again, I'm just going to do this quickly. You can do the calculations on your calculator. And it turns out that my x value for my in center turns out to be 105.8 over 21.1 or 5.0. Now, let me just go to my actual triangle, okay? And I, I, I eyeballed it correctly, I believe. Did I? Yeah, that still, that still sounds okay. Now, let's find the y value, okay? the y of the in center. And I'm going to tell you that after I did all my calculations, <clears throat> so 2 times this opposite side, 2 times BC, and what did I come up with BC? It was 5.7 plus 4 times AB. And we said AB was 7.2 plus 
plus 8, the y value, times 8.2 here. That's going to turn out to be, oh, excuse me, I, I see what I did wrong. 105.8 over 21.8, that's the y value. I was looking at my calculations over here. Added, and I added them up incorrectly, so please excuse me for that. That was actually going to give me a value, and you can check this on your own again, 48.2 divided by 21.1, and that's going to turn out to be approximately 2.3. That looks a little bit better. I was, I was trying to think to myself, how did 5 work? That doesn't work all of a sudden. When I add all these up, I'm going to get 105.8 divided by 21.1, and that's going to give me approximately 5.0. Okay, so my in center, according to my calculations and my formula, is going to be at in center is at 2.3 and 5.0. And when I go to my triangle, 2.3 is approximately there, 5 is approximately there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right there. And that certainly looks like an in-center. Okay? So I hope this helped. Remember the equation. It's just take the, <clears throat> the x value, Multiply by the opposite distance, the x value here, multiply by the opposite distance, x value here, multiply by the opposite distance, add them all up, divide by the perimeter, and the same thing for the y's, and you'll get the coordinate for the in center. Okay, I hope that was helpful.